We're going to help you get better as an outside hitter. And as we go step by step, the first thing that we're going to look at is the basics, and that's footwork. And here to help us as an outside hitter today is former three-time All-American outside hitter at Georgia Tech, Lynette Moster. Lynette is going to go through a series of footwork drills as well as arm swing drills, and then we'll put the whole package together and really see a lot of great tips for outside hitting. So let's start out here first, and we'll talk about the transition footwork from the net back to hitting. Okay? If Lynette goes up to block, when she comes down, the first thing she wants to do is open up with her right foot and become explosive. And the first tip that we want to talk about is opening up with the right foot and using the fewest number of steps to get back to what we call the T. The T is the point where the three meter line meets the sideline. Okay? We want to transition to this point every single time. The biggest mistake that young hitters will make is that they will warm up hitting and try to transition from about 18 to 20 feet off the net a lot. And it creates a lot of timing issues when it comes time to hit the ball. So we really focus on transitioning to the T. Now that she's transitioned to the T, we'll take a look at the footwork again from block. And she comes open with the right foot, and she transitions to the T. From the T, then, the next thing that we're going to look at is we're going to look at her footwork going into the attack. Her footwork is going to be very simple. It's a left step, and then a right left, and she wants to make these last two steps as close together as possible in timing when they hit the floor, shoulder width apart, and facing the setter. Okay, so again, she's transitioned off to the T, and now she's gonna step left, right, left, and it's like a hopping mechanic when she goes to jump. If she goes back to the T again, another common mistake that players will make is that they'll step left and then long right, long left, and their toes will be pointed toward the net. This causes the player to drift into the net, and it takes away a lot of power and options for hitting. You don't want to drift too close to the block because that's how they'll get you. You want to stay off the net and be able to jump more straight up and down to increase your vertical and your ability to hit around the block. So again, she transitions to the T. She goes left, right left with a hop mechanic. Now, if she transitions too deep, as we said before, and she gets 15, 18, 20 feet deep, she really has to use long steps and strides. It makes her a jumper that goes toward the net instead of a jumper that goes above the net. So she transitions to the T, and she steps left, right, left. This is the basic footwork, okay? Next thing that she's gonna do now is we're gonna really focus in on making sure that she's square and open. So she steps left, right, left, and she's open to the setter. Notice that her knees are bent and her hands are back behind her hips. Okay, so she starts at the net and she blocks. She comes down and she opens right and gets to the T. And then she approaches left, right, left with that hop. This is a very basic footwork that you should be focusing on every time because efficiency equals performance. And if you're efficient with your footwork, if you eliminate a lot of extra steps in your footwork, you'll be a much better performer when it comes time to hit. 